London Bridge is falling down My fair lady Take the key and the spider Hold up the water spout Down came the rain and washed the spider out Out here the sun and dried up all the rain And the itsy bitsy spider crawled up the spout It's called Yahats. You say that? Yahats? Yahats. Yahats. <laughs> you know, I still can't believe we're doing this. <sighs> ah! Thank God. Hello. Ah, Nigel. Ah. Good to see you. <laughs> I couldn't be more glad to see you if you were Santa Claus. No, no, I tell you, I just can't wait to get out of this place. Really? Well, hello. Hi. Is this a little creature who was conceived on the premises? Yes, sir. This is Katie. Say hi, Katie. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Can I help you with the... Oh, uh, by the way, escrow says that the paperwork won't be ready till next week now. I'm sorry, but uh, I'm going to have to disappear before that. You don't mind, do you? No. Oh, no. I'll show you the ropes and everything, and uh, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, honey, isn't it paradise? Yeah, it will be, with a few coats of paint, some carpentry, some plumbing, and as long as we can... Keep up the payments, I promise, sweetheart, it won't be a problem. Need some help, son? Yeah, the, um, alternator's busted, but we need a ride to the next town. Oh, I'm sorry, but, uh, we're headed the other way. Don't mind giving you and your friend a ride, though. No, we uh... No, we gotta go north. South's the best we can do. But look, uh, we just passed a police cruiser a few miles back. Maybe you should wait for them. No, we'll go with you guys. And if you liked yesterday, you'll love... You boys on holiday? We expect occasional showers over most of the... You might say that. Highs today should reach the mid-50s, with lows tonight in the high 30s. Up Only our holidays in the other direction. We go out the ocean here. Go out the ocean. Can you run? Can you run? Do you like the water? Can you enjoy the water? Ooh, the water. You like the water? <laughs> I knew we'd get you back here, Kathy. Didn't I say so, my darling? Oh, hi. Hi. How are you? We were hoping you hadn't changed your mind. Oh, of course. So, where's the big fella? Oh, he's off talking business with Nigel, you know. Should be fishing. There's plenty of time for work after you officially take over the place. <laughs> That's true. Hey, Katie, look who's come to meet you. Look who's come to meet you. This is Uncle Rudy and Annie Hilda. Can you say hi? Yeah, well, we're having a party later on today. There'll be candy and desserts. Huh? Would you like to come, huh? Yes, yes, of course you'd like to come. <laughs> yeah. Let's get up there. Hey, kids. Hey, Paul, you met to Marv and Ed your last trip. Gentlemen. Hi, Paul. Hi, Paul. Now, this here's Greg. Hi, Greg. And this is Stu, your number one competitor just the other side of Yaha. <laughs> Actually, uh, we do business a little differently here. Yeah. More cooperation than competition. We're not interested in cutting each other's throats. Kathy's been like a granddaughter to me. Now, she's been coming here ever since she was so hot. <laughs> How old was I, Hilda? Eight? 
Oh, and I wanted to stay here forever. You see, my father's job moved us around a lot. Oh, and I just remember screaming that first summer as we drove away. Why? <laughs> my kids couldn't stand it. They all left as soon as they finished high school. You know, I don't understand. How do you really blues? They won't appreciate it till they're 10 years older. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we moved here the minute I found out I was pregnant. We did not want to raise a family in L.A. Mm -hmm. That's how we felt about Tucson. I just lost the motel. Don't worry about it. <laughs> 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 Okay, sweetheart. Okay. Turn on. Yes! Right. All right. Good to get away from it all, isn't it? That's why we retired here. Yeah, well, that's why we're moving here. Tucson was turning into bad news. Shady characters, very shady morals. <laughs> well, I'm glad you and Kathy are here, son. And I just hope the two of you make your fortune. Well, Rudy, if I was interested in a fortune, I'd still be back in Tucson. I'd just be perfectly happy to make a reasonable go of it. Ah, uh, Rudy. Life doesn't get much better than this, does it? front room is our best, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Frost. <laughs> In fact, my husband and I spent our honeymoon there. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. yeah Wisconsin, huh? What's it like there? It's, it's cold. It's really cold. <laughs> Not missing much. <laughs> you and your friend out here on holiday? I knew just kind of, you know, working our way up the coast. Mm. Well, I think you're all squared away. You have a nice day. Your room is up those outside stairs into the very end. Have a good day. Our first customers. Mm. Oh. Paul, why the frown? Nothing. To our first customer. Get up, boys! The barricade's making a run for it! Kathy? Mm hmm. I'm gonna be okay. I mean, I really don't want to go to this Chamber of Commerce meeting anyway. No, I'll be fine. I just want to write a few letters once I get Katie down. Go meet some new people. Okay. Okay. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. 
Bye-bye. See you later. Say night-night. Bye. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.
You move, and she's dead. Got it. Don't do anything. Why do you want to take anything? Just don't hurt my family. Shut up. All right. We're all going to the bank in the morning. In the meantime, we can have a little fun. Nice watch. What are you gonna do with us? Hey, what are we gonna do with him, Robert? What are you, an echo? <sighs> what are we gonna do with Take it. Shut up! Now, if she comes back with the money and she hasn't done anything stupid, we'll tie you up and we'll leave you. Now, let's go. Let's go! You know, why are we going south? Lincoln City is north. Don't ask me. Needs the brains. Try to stay calm, sweetheart. Everything's gonna be fine once we give him the money. We're leaving the pickup here. Cops will figure we're going south. If they lay a hand on you or Katie, I swear to God, I'll kill him. I love you, Paul. Hey, you drive. I need time to think. We're back. Exactly 40 minutes. If you're not back, I swear to God, I'm gonna kill your baby, I'm gonna kill your husband, and leave. You'll be on your own. Hey, lighten up, Robert. I got it under control. You don't have your shaving under control. When they come back with the money, you're gonna let us go, right? You're a good boy. All right, it's clear. Let's go. Come on.
just a moment, please. Mrs. Plunk. Right here. I hope my Arizona driver's license is okay. Sure. And a major credit card. And sign the back. How would you like it? Bank check? Cash. brother and I are going to Las Vegas. In just a moment, please. Good, Katie. That's good. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. What are you looking at? <laughs> what do you want to play? Oh, oh what is that? Okay. Come on. Come on. Ready? Oh, we don't use this. This is how we really play. Any hand will do. And nine thousand. Everything seems right. Thank you. Uh, just a moment, Mrs. Plunk. Fred, would you escort these people to their car, please? Thank you. Next, please. <laughs> Vegas. <laughs> that was great. We were great. <laughs> When that hat came up, man, I thought we were dead. <laughs> oh, no, come on. Come on, you were great in there. We were just like Bonnie and Clyde. It's just a hurry. Hurry. Here. No, 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 no. Divide it in half and look after Roberts, please. Oh. I'm so scared of your friend. Yeah. He's kind of got that effect on people. It won't hurt my family, really. You're so different from him. How did you get mixed up with him? We were in the same halfway house together in Wisconsin. And one day, we just decided we were going to boost a car and head out west. <laughs> you know, like Butch and Sundance. We've been partying ever since, been drinking beer, popping pills, snorting ice. Butch and Sundance died, you know. Robert wants to die. Do you? If it's in the cards. It doesn't have to be. Please. Will you help us? Please, if you help us, then maybe we can help you. Maybe. Please. I gotta get my head straight. I'll try. You're pretty. Could you please just drive a little faster? Please. Nothing. It's just a cut. It's nothing. Are you okay? Yeah. Hey, we were just like Bonnie and Clyde. We held hands, man. 
Okay, look, you have your money now. We're gonna let us go. It's more money than we ever had, hey, Robert? Well, I'm trying to count here. I'm hungry. I'm gonna get some food. Do you want something? For your, for your baby, maybe? Let us go! <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm uh, running low on disposable diapers. Okay. In other news, Nevada police are asking Oregon authorities for their help in their search for two suspects wanted in connection with a terrifying kidnapping earlier this week involving an elderly couple driving through the state on vacation. Authorities are stepping up their search for two men in their early 20s, one of fair coloring and medium height, the other tall, dark, possibly of Native American descent. What are we going to do? We're getting out of here and they're coming with us. No, you said you'd let us go. Yeah, well, now the situation calls for a different strategy. They need hostages. And you take me and let Kathy and Katie go. <laughs> no. You promised. <laughs> Anybody home? Don't you guys ever sleep? Been awake eight days. Don't you ever shut up? Could I please feed my husband? You shut your kid up? Here, sweetie. No. Look, what? Can I just take her outside for a walk? She needs air. Uh, I'll go with her. All right. I'll stay and play with the husband. Kids are different, aren't they? From what? From us? We're all screwed up. When you're a kid, nothing makes sense, you know, it doesn't matter. It's like you're gonna live forever when you're a kid, you know. What's your first name? Jeff. How old are you, Jeff? 22. She's nice. Were you planning on having more kids? I'd like to have a little boy someday. No, no. Boys are bad. I'd, I'd like a little girl. Sure. Why not? Sitting back with her. You drive. <laughs> All right. Afternoon. Thanks for coming out. Name's Rudy Brueger. Now, this may be nothing, but if you run in a motel, you don't all take off and leave it unattended, right? Or leave your no vacancy sign on when you got no guests? Why don't you show me around? Right. Come on. You're very tense. 
need more sleep. My neck hurts all the time. Find a place to hold up. Don't you give yourselves up instead of getting us all shot? Why don't you shut up? I ended up in jail like Geronimo. I'm gonna die a free man, so shut up! checked in, I should never have left you alone with them. Well, 
We're going to make it through this, Paul. We're going to stay calm. Do whatever they want. Do whatever they want. Whatever it takes for the three of us to get out of this alive. Line Barrow, Buddy Parker, we got you surrounded. Toss out your guns and give it up. Here's your answer, Cocker. Go get us some beer. Yeah. Later. Take it easy, Matt. Take it easy! No. I'll go. I'll go. What do you... Do you want some food? Huh? No. I'm fasting. I gotta get purified. <clears throat> okay. Do you want some food? No. How about the baby? What are you, nurse, man? Get the hell out of here. What's this motel called? I didn't notice. Eagle's Nest. I was supposed to be here. Something is going to happen here. What are you staring at? Nothing. What are you staring at? Your hair. What's the matter with my hair? Too long. Scraggly. What do you know about my hair? I know you could be handsome if you... if you paid more attention. Cut my hair for me. What with? Scissors. Eagle's important to you? It's sacred. Did you grow?
grow up on a reservation. Why, why, why do you care about this? Just shut up and cut my hair. I don't want to talk about this. I just know that it's important to you, and I... I was curious. She didn't hurt us in any way. What's this? Beauty parlor? No, we were, we were just discussing you giving yourselves up. Paul and I will help you. No way. I'm not going back to prison. What's the matter with you, Robert? Uh, all right, enough of this. That's it. You're all dead. You're dead. Your kid's dead, and you're dead. I, I need to talk to your mom alone. You go play with your toys. You told me you didn't like Robert. I'm terrified of him. He's gonna murder us all. Oh, yeah. don't worry. It's just how he talks sometimes. Man, this stuff 
is eating you up. Leave Kathy and Katie here. Take me with you. Why don't you shut up? Nobody's talking to you. What we should do is get rid of him. He's the nuisance. No, 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 not here. In the mountains somewhere.
nervous about your wedding night? And baby, I've been kidnapped. You've got to help me, please. This is Pierce County Car 6. I'm bringing Mr. Plunk into the Morton substation now. Police are looking for two men in their early 20s driving a 1988 Blue Ford van. The men are armed and dangerous and are believed to be holding a woman and child hostage. These men may also be wanted in connection with a number of other alleged... We should have kept driving. Let's go. We're out of here. County car six, do you copy? This is car six, go ahead. We've spotted a Ford van, Arizona plate, November, Romeo, Oscar 584, parked outside the Eagle's Nest Motel. That's it, they were back, that's where they were holding seat. us. We're on our way. Let's go! All right, I'll take the kid. Sheriff, this is Clark. We got us some activity here. Two adult males matching the description of the suspects are moving towards the van. They're accompanied by a woman and a small child. Please advise. Well, tell them not to shoot. That's my wife and baby. Come on, tell them! Tell them! This is car six approaching Morton. Mr. Plunk is concerned about the safety of his wife and child. Then, no, would you tell them not to shoot? Sheriff, the van is pulling out. We're heading north on Highway 12. Keep them in sight, Clark. The FBI's in on this now. Do not repeat. Do not close in until backup units get into position. We're on them now, Sheriff. Got him! Get him! I step on it! Robert's got a plan. He's got a plan. Sir, if we can't see a thing, request permission to go in on foot. Negative, Clark. Hold for backup. Jeff, he's not coming back. Can't you see that? He's not. What should we do? What, what, what should we do? Give yourself up. It's the only way. No! I told you! I am not going back to prison! Now, come on, come with me, all right? We'll, we'll go into the woods and we'll get Robert. Robert is really good in the woods. He, he'll get us out of this. No, uh, no, I, no, I can't take Katie into the woods. I can't. Quick, you go. You go before the police get here and somebody gets hurt, okay? Okay, okay, you, you I, I'll go find Robert and, and I'll bring him back, okay? Okay. Yeah. Here. You're supposed to be watching the woman and the kid. I promised her I would bring you back. What are you doing? I'm gonna ambush the cops from here. You left the keys with her, you idiot! have been 
fired. What's going on? Where's she going? Where's she going? Sheriff. Stay with it, Clark, but don't do anything to jeopardize the hostages. Backup units are almost in position to intercept. Sheriff, it looks like... But unlock the wreck. And when we get there, I want you on the floor, out of sight, okay? Okay, stay down, Katie. It's okay, baby. sweep of the park. No sign of the suspects. Sheriff, Unit 2 is clear. This is Unit 5. Nothing out of the ordinary at this location. I'd like you to meet my associate, Special Agent Kenderson. Oh. Is there anything I can get for you? Mrs. Plunk, I'm going to have to take you and your daughter to the hospital for an examination. them laid a finger on her I'd kill him listen to me Mr. Plunk anything you might have tried against those two would have been fatal it would have provoked more violence in them and they would have killed you and probably your wife and child too I didn't even try it sounds to me like you both handled the situation incredibly well no, I didn't protect my wife and baby. Kathy's gonna hate me for that. Am I pregnant? 
We'll know more in a few days. What about the other test? Frost and not will be tested for AIDS as soon as they're apprehended. To be safe, though, you should schedule your own periodic checkups. Kathy, forensics will need your clothes for tests. Oh. I can keep them. Was it me doing all those things? It's, it's all so disgusting. What do you think you've done that was so terrible? The whole thing. What I did with Joe. Not letting him on. I let him pretend we were Bonnie and Clyde. You keep calling him Jeff. You liked him. No. No. I'm not accusing you, Kathy. It was different from not. Or human somehow. At first, I, I wanted him to help us. And then as, as weird as it sounds, I wanted to help him. It's crazy. It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. No, it makes perfect sense. You did exactly what you had to do. Yeah. But it's the other things I did. I let him like me. I mean, Jeff. Frost didn't hold a gun to my head. I didn't fight enough. You did everything that was necessary to survive. You must see that. These two men had the power of life and death over all of you. What will Paul think of me? Well, this is a welcome change. How do you feel? More tired than I've ever felt in my life. Well, uh, oh, there, I'll put Katie down and then I'll get us organized here. Do you think the last few days will hurt her? Doctors say she'll be okay. She's young. Probably won't remember. <laughs> we should be so lucky. Look, I'm too tired to think. Do you mind if I take a bath? No, of course not. Okay, you've been in here forever. I'll be out in a minute. Uh, well, 
go get your towel. Paul, I just need some space, okay? Try to stop us, we'll blow their heads off. Move it! Yeah! Take that vest. Here. Thanks. You're just in time, Jordan. We spotted them on Highway 12. I've been thinking, I think after breakfast we should get out of here. I'll call Rudy and Hilda, we'll tell them we're okay, and we're on our way. Morning. Uh, any news? Uh, it's all over. They're dead. One of them was killed in a shootout earlier this morning. Which one? They had a couple of hostages with them, tried to make a run for it in a stolen tow truck. Mm -hmm. Frost was killed at the scene. Not was shot as well. We thought he was dead, but doctors seem to think he's going to pull through. You should have finished the job, damn it. Kathy. 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 That's exactly where their life was headed. You and your husband are lucky they didn't take you down with them. Jenny Blaker wasn't so lucky. She and a young man, tow truck driver, were taken hostage last night. She died in the shootout this morning. Oh, no. She's 29 years old. Oh, no. Married with two small kids. Oh, no. us to go back to your huts today. Deborah, I don't know if I can ever go back there. You 
doesn't know what I've been through. I mean, he was there, and, and then he thinks he knows, but he can't, he can't really know. <laughs> he knows more than you give him credit for. You need to be more understanding about what he's been through, what he's still going through. Just as you are of Jeff Frost. Here they come. Ta da da! Oh. Kathy. Welcome home, home, darling. Hi, hey, oh. Paul. What's all this? Oh, it's so good to see you. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Oh, oh, so good to have you back. Look at this. <laughs> it's beautiful. I, I love flowers. It's not just from us. It's from the whole town, Kathy. Everybody wants to welcome you back home. And we hope... We want you to stay. Is there anything I can do to help you? In any way? Would you come upstairs with me? go up in a motel. Here you get up. I want to get an early start. I've got a lot to do today. Well, I thought maybe we could spend some time down near the water. Just the two of us. To talk. Maybe tomorrow. Paul, I really... Not today.
What are you doing? Something I should have done when we first bought this place. Well, we didn't move here to live like this. Have you lost your mind? Yes. It's not going to happen again, Kathy. And this will make sure that you're safe when I'm not here. Look, I agreed to give this a try, but this is not the way. Paul, this isn't a zoo. Can we talk about this? It's not open for discussion, Kathy, and you're not going to be working alone till I'm finished here. All right. Here's your lunch. I don't know why you get so angry. I'm only trying to protect you. I refuse to live like this, Paul. This isn't what our dream was about, and I don't just mean those bars. Mm -hmm. There's no intimacy. Forget intimacy. We can't even talk about the weather anymore. When you're not working yourself to exhaustion at the motel, you're, you're stalking around here like, like Rambo on guard duty. This isn't the man I fell in love with. I'm only trying to keep this family together. You know what your problem is? You're too trusting. He used to say that was something you liked about me. Yeah, well, that was before. Well, I don't care. I'd rather be that way than always suspicious than, than living like a, a prisoner. That's it, isn't it? Those bars aren't to keep people out. You're trying to keep me in. Why don't you just admit it? Why are you making this so hard for me? And I suppose you think you're making it easy on me. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. Well, I think we both need some help. I think we're doing just fine. No, we're not. Well, we will be if you'll just do what I say. Come back here and talk to me, damn it. We don't need to do this alone. Just in time. Oh, good. Where's Katie? I put her down early. She was tired from shopping in Newport this afternoon. What? Damn it, Kathy. I told you not to go into town alone. What if... <sighs> We've talked about this. You talked. I listened. I was fishing. Didn't work. I thought I could get away from things and all I ended up doing was snapping at Rudy for no reason at all. Kathy, I've decided we shouldn't be in the motel business. But it's only been six weeks. I know. I thought we were going to give this a try. No, you're right. I'm suspicious of everyone who wants a room. I jump at my own shadow. My God, I don't think I'm ever going to be able to trust anyone again. Don't you know that I feel the same way? 
I'm scared all the time. I, I'm scared of everyone who comes into the motel. I'm scared to be alone here at night. Well, that's my point. What the hell are we doing here? God, I wish I understood you. Paul, if we can't make a life for ourselves here, then where? They stole something from me, Kathy. They took a big piece of what it feels like to be a man. And I wish you could understand what that does to me. I can't live with the fear of letting this family down again. Oh, honey. You didn't let anybody down. You were incredibly brave. You walked through the snow. All of the... This isn't about you, is it? It's about me. You can't talk to me. You can't even look at me because of what I did. I am in awe of what you did. You were, you are, the strongest person I have ever known. I am not so strong. Kathy, listen to me. It's not too late to start over, please. Let's sell out. And go where? Paul, running won't do it. If we run, we've let those monsters ruin our lives. No, no. We should stay. And we should help each other. And forgive ourselves. That's the hard part. Mr. Plunk, it's my job to check these things up. Yeah, well, it's my right to kick you off my property. So Paul. get the hell out of here and don't come back. Come on, get out. Get out of here. Paul. Come on, move it. Paul. Paul, you've got to stop. You've got to stop attacking people. I'm not attacking anyone, well, Kathy. Well, what was that? But I'm, I'm just doing what you're always after me to do. I'm just telling somebody what I felt about them. Well, that guy, I'm that guy, sure... You know who that guy is? He's an investigator for Knott's lawyer. Get this, they want us to testify in Knott's behalf. They actually want us to say something nice about him at the trial. You're not serious. Oh, yes, I am serious. You remember when we said to them that maybe we could give them a job back here at the motel? Well, that jerk took us seriously. And now they want us to be character witnesses for some psycho because he just didn't kill us. What are you laughing at? <laughs> what are you laughing at? Oh, God, Paul, it's just... It's just all so absurd. What? I mean, no, you have to see the humor in it. It's not funny, Kathy. No. I don't think it's funny. No, no. <laughs> No, listen, listen. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. We offered Mr. Not a job because we thought that he'd make a terrific night manager. Right? Yeah. We thought he'd be great with the guests. <laughs> and the deep down, he was just truly misunderstood. <laughs> Oh, 
Kathy gave birth to a son. Kathy and Paul continue to operate the motel at Yahats. Robert Gerald Knott was sentenced to life in prison without possibility of parole. of LMN? Then visit LMN.TV and get more of what you crave. This is my idea of heaven. Watch new clips of your favorite movies 24-7 and get more of the stars, the stories, and the movie moments that you love. Could we see a little more flesh here? Satisfy your movie cravings with Flixation, the coolest trivia game ever for movie fans. Hello, Cirque du Soleil. LMN.TV is the ultimate site for the LMN movie fan. So what are you waiting for? Visit LMN.TV today.